Hello, hello. Welcome. You are watching Audio Tree Live. It is May 19th, 2023, and I am your host, Fingy. Guys, I have something really crazy to tell you. Yesterday, I subscribed to this channel, woke up 100K on my front door. Rumor has it that that happens to absolutely anybody that subscribes to this channel. So, you know, buy a lottery ticket, subscribe to Audio Tree, pick your poison. With that being said, we're also on all streaming services. So anything that goes down here is going to go right onto your phone. Be walking, chilling, and can tap into a world of amazing music. But with that being said, speaking of amazing music, I am fortunate to introduce today Texas rock band Marrowhead. Whenever you're all ready, let's get into it.
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what's up, y'all? We're on your American tour, yep. feeling good. Uh, there was a little, there was a little drama. There's some rumors going around the studio. I don't know if you guys heard about it. What is it? But I did. I heard that we had a little listening party earlier. We're bumping a little Avril Lavigne on the way. Is this rumor? That was all Ruby. It's true. It's confirmed. Confirmed. It's confirmed. No, no denies. Straight confirmed. I like that. I like that. Yeah, we no, heard it last night at the venue, and we were like, we should bump the record. Oh yeah. Was someone like doing a little cover moment? No, or? it was like a, a DJ night. He was DJing CDs. Ooh. Oh, it was pretty good. CDs, some bangers, on honestly. Damn. Okay, so it was like a. Would, was they trying to do a little theme two thousands moment, or they're just playing? It kind of was. It kind of was, yeah. was that, but okay. I don't know if he was doing that on purpose. But okay. No, I mean like. It was a vibe like that. What's so tough about like really good music getting to be so popular is that all of a sudden a lot of people just like don't want to like it anymore, and they're like, oh, it's not cool, it's mainstream, blah blah blah, and that kills me with Avril Lavigne because she's wild and then got so big that I feel like people are embarrassed to say that they're bumping her, which is yeah. ridiculous. But it also makes you think about guilty pleasure music. And I was wondering if y'all still pretty popular. I I hope so. <laughs> Amongst the people I'm around, I don't I don't She's get to so there's not too much talk. But I'm glad that wherever y'all are hanging out. She's so popular yeah. death was we faked, right? Yeah, yeah, she got replaced by a body double. No, I've been hearing that. I've been that's seeing also confirmed. You've been hearing what? That, that she's, she's like, that's not... That she's an Android oh, and we're not supposed to talk about yeah, that. Right, yeah. yeah, right? Be quiet. Hey, I mean, she might... She, the real her might come and say, like, hey, guys, join me. But she imagine you guys had a band of clones just going around. What do you think they'd be like? Do you think you could actually, like... That would suck. That would suck. Yeah. Why? Then you could, know. like, have them do your dishes. Not the real deal. Yeah. Yeah. Is there about the real deal? Yeah. I like that. I, know, I, I like wouldn't that. mind chilling at home while someone else did this part. <laughs> I mean, it's also like y'all. I feel like you have to give a lot of energy, right? Like after the show, I'm. I assume fans come up and like ha ah, da da. Sometimes you have it, and sometimes you don't. Yep. So to have like a little fucking Jacob and Cora being like ah, be y'all can done. be in the back yeah, chilling, get a little guys. eye mask. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, but okay. So y'all were formed, based in Texas, mm -hmm. 2013 era. Um, and I guess that's semi similar to Avril, but maybe she was a little earlier. But I, I was wondering like. Along this span of a decade now, mm -hmm. what were some of the major musical influences for y'all in 2013 versus um, now? I guess me, I was the only one in the band at the time. So yeah. I don't know. We liked like Deftones and Quicksand huh. and stuff like that. We just tried to write songs that sound like that, you know, like, like, like the same way that everyone starts a band. And overall... Or over time, it just turned into our own thing where we like just. T I'm like, it's like, yeah, it's like a bit of everything that we're into. We kind of just yeah. mix it all in there. Hell yeah. But but those three bands were the start. Yeah. I think. No, and you make a good point. Like when you start this stuff off, you're just like, yeah, you yeah. hear something cool and you're like, like I'm gonna do it just like that. Yeah. Were there any like? throwaway songs that y'all can recall that you thought were like, ah, man, I, I don't think it's going to be it, but then it ended up, like, really being a hit? Mm. Uh, the entire first EP felt like that. Really? Yeah. How did you, well, y'all... I still feel that way, but people yeah. like it, yeah. Well, that's the thing, too. By the like time it. it's about to come out, it's already dead to you, whatever. Yeah. But no, that's fire. It, it holds a special place in my heart, but it's a it's a pretty like first record, yeah. a first EP type thing. Yeah, and when you say first, is that just like you feel like your ideas weren't as flushed out Definitely. as they could have yeah, been? Yeah, we didn't really know what was up. Like we just had like a single uh, idea and didn't really yeah. go further from there. Yeah. So what's the process looking like now as a band? Well, now we're music? all we're like a solid thing now and yeah like all, like all of us can write songs so yeah uh, we like i don't know it's pretty it's pretty like simple to to yeah. do this part i feel like you come we don't really jam we already have like an idea someone has an idea that's verse chorus riff yeah. and we just yeah, do that jamming. Yeah, I'd like to yeah. jam more. Like, you know. <laughs> you aren't trying to do like Grateful Dead moments where you just chill mm. for five hours. And no, we're more of a song. Person. Yeah. 
Um, so mm. you guys don't think it's too many to- cooks in the kitchen ever? It's just kind of someone's well, we like... Know yet. It's a big kitchen. It's a big True. kitchen. So oh, yeah. it's saying everyone plays their own part. We're talking like an island Not in the middle Not too many cooks, well. you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, You I got like a prepper that. and... Uh, you know, Buster, all that stuff. All the, yeah. That's beautiful. As long as the plating is good, that's all it's people care great. about. Wheels, but uh, wheels on dish for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. All right. Well, let's run a couple more tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah.
don't know. Mm. The camera started. I was like, oh, no, I'm going to let that ride out. Okay. Uh, like, I almost tripped. I know. I saw a little. I didn't know if we got angry at the the, the rack no, no, for not no, doing this It was this an accident. Thing. Hey, but you, you played it off like a yeah. motherfucker who's pro at hopscotch. Yeah, I liked yeah. it. I I've liked done, it. I've fallen before. <laughs> um, so continuing the conversation we were having, not too many cooks. There's never too many cooks in the kitchen. I like that. Uh, I know there's one of your tracks that, Cora, I believe your brother uh, did a little production on. And I want to know kind of how that process came about and what that day was like. Um, so I, I came with an idea of, uh, for that song and I, I knew I wanted like a cool big beat. I don't know, it was like a swirly song I was kind of, you know, thinking of and I had this idea and we were just hanging out in LA and Cora's brother came along, Aaron, and made a really, really cool beat and I don't know, we just used it for that and it was cool to, I don't know. Nero had had songs with like samples before but it's cool when someone comes in and does that. Corey, you want to... Mm. You were there, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what happened. <laughs> cool. cool. And when you say swirly, what does is, what is swirly mean? Oh, swirly. The, the band. There was, like, this oh. was... I think it's from, like, the, the Broke Dick EP or something like that. And uh, there's you this cool song at the end that has this, like, I don't know, cool beat. And that's what I was thinking of, kind of, when yeah. I wrote it, I guess. Oh, yeah. No, because at first you said swirly, I was like, ooh, like, bubbles. I say a little synth out. I was like, we're... <laughs> We're all fucking with that sequencer to get a little top end. I like that. No, but that's cool. Do you guys uh, overall think or would rather have work with peers rather than people that are more outsiders? Do you trust the people's who are closest to you, their opinions, or are you more so like, ah, you're a little too close to the situation. I'd rather hear, you know, an outside producer's take. I guess it's pretty situational. Like, you know, like I would like eventually to go with someone that we don't know. But at, at the end of the day, we kind of just go to what feels comfortable. So yeah. half the time it's with someone we're comfortable with, you know. Yeah, it's it's less about like familiarity or distance and more just about do we trust you? Because like we did the record with Sonny and we'd never worked with him before. But he pretty yeah. quickly was able to show us that like, oh, this is a guy that we should, you know, give some. Shout out to Sonny. Yeah, shout out to Sonny to Perry. <laughs> You're so the philosophy is almost like a dichotomy of like bestie and therapist where like you're just far enough, removed enough that you don't have any, you know, feeling towards this, but you trust them well enough that they got a decent enough ear and don't want y'all to flop or whatever. I would trust Sonny to be my therapist, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's, I mean, he's a member of the family now. Definitely. That's, hey. that's six man for sure. Hey. Um, I was wondering though with that, and this is, I could, it could be music related, but... Also, just in life, especially with music so vulnerable, so intense, when you come to critique it, when you come to build it, you want to, you know, make sure it's hitting the marks you want it to make. But obviously, you know, you'll get praise and you'll get some hate. And there's critique and there's hate, you know, blurred lines. But I was wondering if in general and musically, have y'all received the best advice from people that were considered, you know, your loved ones? Or have you received better advice from people that you consider enemies or people that don't uh, wish you well? Definitely, Definitely not ones. those people. <laughs> I'm not really asking anybody for advice. I don't listen to yeah. your enemies. Yeah, no, All the advice we get no, is, is... No one here asks for advice. We don't ask for it. They just give it to us. And we're like, okay. Real. Real. Let me give you some advice. <laughs> exactly. No, because <laughs> I, I didn't know if it was like one of those situations where it's like, you know, like... Tyler, the creator, like, did a project, and someone's like, oh, you you can't do this, and it's like, bet, and then, oh, you know, you yeah, do it. Yeah, I mean, it. no, I, I'm sure someone said we can't do something. I don't know. We Everyone don't has haters. Yeah. We, yeah, we, yeah, we, all we had haters. a few studio guitarists in the last, some, some, session, some session guys. Yeah. I'm kidding. We're good. <laughs> um, no, there's no hate. No hate. All love. I like that. Well, with that, we ran them off with a couple more songs. Call it a day. All right. Yeah.
Thank you, Narrowhead, for coming in. Literally shredding. Uh, thank you to our crew for getting this done. We love y'all. And thank y'all for watching and subscribing. Let me know how that uh, $100,000 goes. And, you know, if you want to side a couple hundo my way, I really appreciate that. But with that being said, everything you just heard right now is up on all streaming services. So run it back, run it back, run it back. And it'll still be as fire as the first time you played it. But uh, with that being said, my name is Fingy. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. So you guys want to do it for real now?